Hey fam, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. My name is Jacob, if you guys are new. And I do men's fashion slash streetwear content onto the channel. So a month ago, I wanted to try an experiment and I wanted to buy some stuff from AliExpress and YesStyle just to see what the international clothing seems like, you know? But yeah, I actually bought some couple pieces here and I would like to show it to you guys. So just a disclaimer, most of these pieces are probably taken inspo from other brands that already did these. And this video should have just taken all these pieces as cheaper alternatives if you guys can't afford the actual thing but at the same time i don't even know what is the original brand because it's so trendy that whenever you look it up it's you kind of get like multiple multiple brands so you don't know which one is the original one <laughs> But yeah, I'll probably leave a picture of the original listing that I bought it from here so you guys can probably use that as reference. And another thing for reference, I am about 5'7", pushing 5'8". I'm 149 pounds right now. And my waist is small, sometimes an extra small, and I wear a 30-30 in pants. And for tops and jackets, I usually go with XL or L, just depending on the size and all that. And for shoes, I like to go for a 42 or 43 euro or a 9 or a 9.5 in American. But yeah, that's about my specification for my body and just what I think is a really good reference point if you guys are trying to find your own pieces out of this haul. If you guys like videos like this, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's free and you guys can always unsubscribe in the future if you don't like me anymore. But seriously guys, it only takes two seconds and it's a good way to help me and the channel out. So stop being fake and click that subscribe button. But yeah, before the video start, can I please ask you guys a favor and that is to click the like button because these kind of videos don't get that much traction. So I would like the algorithm to bless me with newer audiences. So click that like button and please help me out. So with that being said, let's hop right into the video and this is my 2021 spring summer yes style slash AliExpress clothing haul. Alright, first up, we got this really nice varsity jacket from, uh, it says Black Air on the tag, but there's a lot of other sellers on there that sells the exact same thing. This is a really nice jacket, it has leather sleeves, and for the lettering on the chest here, it's like a fleece material, so it feels like a carpet, and that carpet material can be seen in the bones detail throughout the sleeves, and in my opinion, this is just a really nice piece for, you know, like the fall, and it's just a really nice varsity jacket to have, even though it's kind of cheap, and, you know, quality on it is actually pretty good in my opinion for the price i believe i paid 50 bucks for this so which is a really nice deal and yeah it's just a really nice deal for you know what they're offering and just a really affordable varsity jacket in my opinion so i got these in a 2xl and it fits like an extra large or a really oversized large in my opinion and the fitment on it is just really great it hugs my shoulders really well it makes my shoulders look fantastic and the sleeves aren't too short and which is what something that i kept in mind for and i really don't want the sleeve to be short because you know no varsity jacket really nice um just a really nice piece i can see myself actually keeping this for a while and yeah next up we have this death note sweater i got this on aliexpress for around 20 30 dollars and whenever i was looking for it there's a lot of sellers that are just uh selling these but as just a long sleeve so i was actually preparing to get a long sleeve but they actually sent me a sweater which is really nice the material on it is decent nothing to write home about it's just a really nice sweatshirt it's light and i can actually wear this in the fall so it's not too too warm but it's just doable in my opinion so yeah the graphic on it is actually really cool if you guys haven't seen this yet you can actually spot this on instagram a lot because they've been like this shirt has been blowing up on instagram since the beginning of 2021 so yeah if you guys want to find a really cheaper alternative for these just go on aliexpress the quality is really nice on it as you guys can see i got this in a 2x as well and it fits me like an extra large or just a really oversized large i don't like how it hugs my chest a lot because i wish it could be a little bit looser but that's all right uh it still managed to get the fit down and it's cool in my opinion all right for the next piece up we got this really nice beige bomber jacket from this korean store i got this around 42 to 50 dollars i think and this was the first piece that actually got to me this in my opinion is the epitome of a puffer jacket at the time of buying this i was really into the korean look and i wanted to get a puffer jacket which i would actually use this in the winter whenever it's cold out but yeah the fitment on it is really good in my opinion i wish it could be a little bit puffier but that's all right i'm 
fine with the slim look but i think this fitment is actually good and what people should be looking out for for whenever you guys want to just want something right in between the middle spot there from like being puffy and being a little bit too slim so i think this is just a really nice middle ground for that puffer jacket look there's no tags on this and i don't have my phone in hand to check the size but i think i got an xl or an xxl the puffer jacket is probably one of my favorite pieces that i own right now just the only thing that is kind of disappointing is that i can't really wear it out right now but yeah the fitment is really great on it it actually keeps me really warm so as you guys can see in the try on clip i'm actually sweating inside so excuse me for that but yeah beige puffer jacket just really nice for that korean look let's get on to the next one all right next up we got this really nice inuyasha sweatpants right here so whenever i bought this i want something to be baggy and i want like a little bit of a baggy black sweatpants and so i opt out for these and in my opinion these just do the job really well a great amount of bagginess and the graphic on it is not even that bad just the only problem that i have with it is that um the material that makes up the sweatpants is kind of kind of poor but it's all right it's comfortable enough to wear and probably just wear these in like the fall because it's definitely not going to keep me warm and yeah the graphic is okay in my opinion it's just a really nice design and i just I just want a black sweatpant so so i got this and yeah it's really great but you know it could do better and for these i think i got it in an xl or an l so yeah just a reminder asian sizes do go a little bit low and at the same time these are made for women so all right the next piece is this beige wide legged pant and i featured this a little bit on my channel not too much though but these are really nice the material is again decent it could have been better but the fitment is really great in my opinion so i can sacrifice a little bit of uncomfortability just to wear these but yeah the colors is really nice on it i think i got this in a small on yes style it like barely fit my waist so but yeah not too much to say about these these are just a really nice plain beige wide legged pant just to just rock out and just to fit in that korean aesthetic so overall really nice and i think i got these for like 28 dollars i'm not too sure but it was either 28 or 18 dollars it was on the cheaper side though i think and lastly i wanted to get a pair of sneakers just because i want something new and at the time i wanted a pair of black chunky sneakers so i opted out for these chunky sneakers on yes style so coming into this i kind of know that i'm not going to get the material that i'm used to with like you know balenciagas or yeezys but just like a cheaper alternative version of those and that's what i actually got <laughs> so yeah everything i said was true like just the uppers was just the upper is like flimsy and it's kind of cheap looking but yeah in my opinion i actually get the job done and not too much complaints on this because that's what i set out to get and that's what i received so it's pretty good um i think these are about 40 bucks to 50 bucks so um whenever i got this shoe i remember that the smell is absolutely shit just absolutely dog shit it just didn't work out but these shoes are just a really nice shoe if you want something cheap or if you want like a pair of black shoes for cheap they have other colors on there too i think i should have got the white version instead but you know the black pair is all right in my opinion i don't really get too much wear out of these but still it's good to just have it there just for scenarios maybe whenever i buy a pair of balenciaga i would probably get rid of these but still if i'm being honest with you guys the midsole right here is just a big piece of rubber so that's what you're just standing on for the whole time so I can't really imagine wearing these a lot or just wearing these for a long period of time because you're going to get super uncomfy really fast. But yeah, just an all black pairs of sneaker. Nothing to say about these, nothing to go wrong. You can see that it's kind of ripping off other designer shoes, but at the same time kind of be true to itself. What I noticed on that website is that people actually just reuse this missile like a shit ton so watch out for that make sure you guys know what you guys are uh looking for and yeah and then we have the final thing on this list which is this clear watch band right here to be honest this was just something i want to buy so i can have something to ship here but it actually served me really well this is a clear apple watch band and i think it just looks super nice on hand and just looks super aesthetic this cost me around I think three dollars with like two dollars shipping so around like six dollars uh five six dollars but it was actually worth it the shipping was actually really nice and yeah it's just a clear watch band nothing to go wrong with it's just something 
to be aesthetic and that is going to be it for the video if you guys enjoyed this video then be sure to hit that like button if you guys didn't then dislike it i'm fine either way comment down below what you guys think of the haul what do you guys think about like the pieces i picked if you guys liked it if you guys didn't if you guys want me to send you like the seller or if you guys want me to get a specific piece just comment all down below and also if you guys want me to do more aliexpress or yes style haul then let me know as well because i'm definitely interested on in doing more it's just really fun and i can get super interesting and unique pieces that i wouldn't get here so yeah definitely let me know down below because i am really interested on in seeing what you guys think and what you guys have to say but yeah before i end out this video if you guys haven't yet then subscribe to the channel because i have so much more content coming out your way and i know you guys don't want to miss out on it but yeah that's going to be it for today's video a little bit of a short video but at the same time kind of lengthy but you know the vibes so yeah i'm gonna leave you guys now peace out <laughs> it's been 21 minutes that's crazy